Why isn't mine? Okay, that's really fun. Thanks, Big Beast. Tell me if it's just as awful today as it was yesterday in terms of frame rate and scooped frames. Yeah, I hardwired it this time, hoping that would help. Yep, baby steps, thanks. I agree, I really appreciate it. Thanks.
putting an order for a court at Home Depot like last night <laughs> and went and picked it up this morning. Yeah, it's just weird that I don't have the overlay tab that you have, is all. So, not sure what to do there. Yes. Correct. I'm on a Mac. Stay seated. Seated. <laughs> don't give me that look. I don't want it. Yeah, I'll have to message him and see what he thinks. I think he's using even a better one than I am. Good old Mo. Hey, thanks, Grin. Thanks for the ride on. <laughs> thanks. Hey, do you guys have um, Tropical Smoothie Cafe in your all cities? Cities? Yeah, well, good. I'm hardwired today. So, that was one itty bitty baby step. Um, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Tropical like an island like where I'm at right now in the game ah well. it they have my favorite smoothies I'm trying to make a copycat version at home it's called a tropical or no a detox island green it has spinach bananas ginger some other things no sugar Oh, kale. It has kale. It's my favorite. I just ordered a blender, and so Hey, Max. But I had boot camp and no starter on Windows side. Ah. Okay, good post -it. I think I have, or I've had boot camp on my desktop before. Um, I was trying to play the Star Trek game, Star Trek Online. And it didn't work out. We have lots of smoothie businesses here, but no tropical smoothie franchises. Well, I wonder, I got a blender. I used Camel 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 to negotiate a good price on, on eBay. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like it. Camel, camel, camel. <laughs> For one third the price.
Oh, my heart monitor keeps going out. I think I got a defective one, guys. Which make, make, brings a good question. How do you guys wash the strap? I put mine in a pillowcase and washed it that way. <laughs> uh oh, I see a yellow, yellow arch of doom coming up, meaning the ramp starts. I uh, rinse during my shower and keep it clean right after this. You rinse the strap of your heart monitor? Oh, just 100 watts. Okay. Ram. Yeah, but it's just 100. Okay, huh? Right on. I soak after my ride, so not sure if it's uh, good to soak these things. This is a seated test. Yes, I hear you. Seated, I'm seated. Special Agent KBG. Oh, KGB. Ha, <laughs> you got me, Grubby. <laughs> this heart monitor sucks. It's a Wahoo. Should I exchange it? I changed out the battery last night. Yeah, it's a Wahoo. What is it? What it pulse ticker? A Wahoo ticker. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I can return it. I kept the receipt. Polar. Okay. So I'll call my bike shop and ask them. If they have polar, if I can exchange it. Grubby loves his Wahoo. Guys, come on. It's fine. It's fine. Fighting words. Delicious fighting words. Uh oh, she's swerving, guys. She's swerving. All right. No, no. <laughs> sure. Yeah, focus. That's what I want to do right now. That's what I'm motivated, motivated to do. You're mean. You're a mean, mean man. Oh, 
Yeah, I'd love to know that not let my heart break away from me, but I don't know what it is. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yell. Oh, God. Something's happening. It's so hard. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh god, fuck. Cramping. I stopped. That was not good. Thanks for the follow, Grandma. You came just in time to see me die. A most honorable death. Oh god. Let me back off. Oh God, Jesus. Nope, that's adding more. Pickle juice for cramps. You know, my friend gave me some pickle juice. I thought it was kind of weird. Like, really? Pickle juice? Pickle juice? There we go, there we go. Oh, oh, sorry. I backed off my resistance and I like, don't do too much. I mean, she gave it to me for hangovers, which don't really help. Too much. But she thought it was a really nice mixer. And then left it in my home. Ooh! I think I might need to clean my gear here, guys. This is a seated measurement so I'm not standing I swear I'm not standing oh there we go oh there we go My Bluetooth is right. Yeah, it's like there's slippage. Just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling, 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 pedaling. Ooh! So I, I'm not adjusting the gears anymore, and it's just slipping around. So I think I need to clean something. Ooh! Hello. There we go. Now it's doing shit. Is that what that is? Indexing? Ooh. Oh! I'm not... Oh, is that a thing? Like, ghost shifting? It's ghosting me. Okay, it stopped. Nope, didn't stop.
I don't know what Monka's is. Oh, there you go. Guys, something's wrong. There we go. Ow! So I have an eleven gear. Like, I got the same cassette equivalent to my gravel bike, and that's what I have on here. <laughs> now I'm just bouncing around. <laughs> you know, I ain't doing crap. It would skip the ramp, fix the shifting issue. All right. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we good now? Will you stay? Will you stay while I want you? Caught my shin on the pedal there. Oh, it changed. Okay. The cable tension adjuster on the wheeler. Derailer. No. I'd have my friend Derek do it. <laughs> or I'd take it to my bike, bike shop. And the bike shop owner will uh, do maintenance as long as you bought it from him for freezies. Okay. I mean, it seems to have stopped. I think it was on the longest, the biggest cassette back there, and it was doing it then. Easiest gear in the front, second or third easiest in the back, and redo the test. And do not shift during the ride. Okay, I was on the hardest in the front and the easiest in the back starting out, I think. So, basically opposite of what you said. There's a screw adjuster at the end of where the cable enters the rear derailleur. Just give it a one half turn one way and see if it helps. If it gets worse, go the other way. <laughs> That's cross cross chaining. Oh, that's bad. To be honest, like at a on a flat pace, if I'm on the easier in front, it feels like there's nothing beneath me. Like I'm just wailing my legs around with no resistance. And it's made me wonder if I don't need like a tighter chain. Well, I'm, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to set it to the easier one in front and like the third easiest one in back and redo it, but I have to get a 
I'm doing her with the parental units here in a minute. So I'm just gonna finish this up first. As long as I put bikes working with me. But I really appreciate it guys, like your input is invaluable, I swear. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my chain while I'm at it. Cause I, I really haven't cleaned it um, since Memorial Day 2019. So, automatically changes the difficulty for you. Yeah, I know, but it, it feels so wrong. Yeah, I think new bike, no, stop it, no new bike. I love my baby, my baby Ari. Yeah, I just heard, uh, I'm reading this audiobook riding into the revolution about female cyclists and she put um she put that down as like one of the alphabets of uh cycling i think she said like l is for lube your um, your chain lube and oil your chain weekly and i was like oh oh really that often oh okay i also i tried to get a start this morning and like my body, my mind just wasn't having it. And I was like, what's wrong with me? I can I I need a bike today. And then I read in a different book that caffeine is a real help. And I had had half of my normal caffeine at that point. So I was like, ah, oh, these things make sense. <laughs> me, hashtag me too. So I need to caffeinate well before my ride. Usually, like, I, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is turn on the electric kettle for some caffeine. So I need to do that faster. A dirty, inefficient drive chain. Well, alright. I'll have it looked at and I'll clean her up. But there's no trading her in. Not for a long time. Okay. Hey, what a... I noticed with gels that they list them as fast acting and slow acting. And, uh, I mean, fast burning and slow burning. I'd imagine slow burning before a ride is probably a good thing, but fast burning, when is that appropriate? High on the GI gels. Depending on effort intensity. So if I'm only doing one of these short workouts as part of the Zwift 101, probably not high, right? Aerobic and anaerobic. What you want to do before a ramp test is eat a full jar of Nutella for carbs. You don't need any gels for sure. A full jar? Grubby, are you crazy? <laughs> are you insane? I mean like before a ramp test? Not like, I mean like maybe before three days of eight hour riding on a long tour. Like one jar, one itty bitty jar. I could see that. Maybe saving it for, throughout the entire trip. What do you eat the full jar of Nutella, but don't do the run test? Do you still get the same benefits? Oh man, if that was the world we lived in, guys. If that was the world we lived I mean, it, it feels like it costs a lot of calories to eat Nutella. Do you really need to ask? Obviously, you're not a pro cyclist. Obviously. <laughs> I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't changed, 
I haven't cleaned, lubed, or oiled my my chain in over a year, obviously. Welcome, landowner. The expert is here. <laughs> I thought all y'all were the experts. He's the real expert. Expert at, be at being in pain. Sure. I clean my bike weekly so we can spend more quality time together. This is true. I mean, like, I give my I take my dog to get his bath nearly weekly. So at these car washes around in my area, they started doing an additional dog bath next to the car wash. And I'm like, I've never seen anyone use them. I'm like, I do take my dog to a 24 hour dog wash, but it's like an indoor unit, not an outdoor thing. Um, but I'm like, if they had a place where I could just drive up, hand me my dog, hand me my bike, have them like gear it up, clean it up and go, I'd be all about it. I mean, I bought my car just on the point that it could fit my bike and my dog easily enough. There's been dual dog car wash centers here for years. Okay, but, but Grim, do you ever see anyone using the dog wash? I, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. Never seen this. That's a good concept, sort of. The only problem is, is that the dog wash is outside. Like, you stick your dog in what looks like an automated, like, vending machine. And then what? Like, he just stands there and looks at you sadly while this machine proceeds to pound him with soap and water. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I go to the 24-hour one off, off of the veterinary clinic. I, I don't know. I want to understand. Like, because the way it's set up, it looks like, like that's exactly what happens. Like, it's just like in the car wash. Why are you doing this to me, human? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, he already gives me that look. But he's good with it now because he's like, I get, I get treats after baths and then cuddles and I feel good. So he's usually thrilled now, but when he was younger, he just looked at me like, I'm miserable and you're the worst person in the world down the road in the back drive through the car wash while I'm multitasking in the tray okay in the tray <laughs> go ahead and put on that that turtle wax you know full set oh you guys you make my day. Okay. Or just open <laughs> so, My neighbor had his uh, his rental car. I guess I think his truck's in the shop. He does rental rental <clears throat> rental car with the windows cracked, and there's this huge storm. And I'm like, should I tell him? I just don't know him that well, and he's really weird. I don't know. No. You make a don't put the blame on us. <laughs> Actually, the dog wash bays are indoors. I've used them for a few times. It's not bad. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a go. Ooh, this is weird, guys. Ah, there we go. This is very weird. Did it even count the workout?
All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Only seen those streams so far. I mean, I think that would be awesome. But to be honest, I like her cautious about the privacy part. I I would really love to stream the Katy Trail, but like I don't think I'll have any kind of signal on the Katy Trail in Missouri. Um, I mean, like, and I. I would love to just show people my favorite trails in my, in my area, but at the same time, I'm all of a sudden saying, like, this is my area, come stalk me. Craft dinner trail. Free food. I don't know where you're coming from here. I'm gonna be mac and cheese trail. I said KT trail. The, K, the KT trail? Uh. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god, here, let me help you guys. You need to look this up. It's this amazing um, trail from St. Louis to Kansas City. Um, it has a spur. Let me see. And the rock. <laughs> there. Look, go look it up. Go go look. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of uh, vineyards and breweries off of the trail, so I think you guys are going in the wrong direction with mac and cheese. It does not pair well with uh, all them fine booze in the halls. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to be late for dinner with my parents, so... You guys are great. Um, I guess I can do forward slash R raid. Let's see who's on. Who is on the Twitch streams? Hmm. <clears throat> Um, someone named Severara. So, yeah, let's let's do that. Severe aura, I meant to say. Nathan Guerrera. He's the voice of Zwift. He'll appreciate it. Okay, all right. I'll take nominations, especially when they're endorsed as such. Oh, I, I mean, is that the right name? Oh, I, I put a Q instead of a G. Hold on one second. Okay. Right. G. Woo! All right. Okay, well, thanks, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.
just like when it's close. <laughs> I just don't want to wait. I think I'm just getting patient. Plus, because it's not ranked. Thank you.